Hey guys, welcome to the next video of Trichopedia and one of the earlier video I have given you in which I have given you the shortcut, the quick way to find the eigenvalues of 3 cross 3 matrix. But when it comes to eigenvector, the conventional method to find eigenvector is definitely time taking and lengthy and that much of time, maybe you can't spare in the examination. So looking into any eigenvector question, what is the shortest approach? Let's have a look into this question, starting directly by a question and giving you the approach of it. Okay, which of the following is or are, right? So that means I am uh, converting it as a multiple select question, which of the following is or are the eigen vectors and there are four options okay conventional method requires detailed equation solving you know but at the end we should know what are eigenvectors right eigenvector is a vector which will satisfy ax equal to lambda x no definition no theory in this video okay i have taught lots of theory earlier if you want you read it up but i'll only focus on this equation you must be knowing that eigenvector if x is eigenvector it must definitely satisfy ax equal to lambda x and lambda is the eigenvalue Lambda is the eigen. That means whenever you multiply ax, the output should be lambda into x, proportional to the x, where lambda can be any number, 1, 2, 3, 5, 1000, 100, anything, right? If that is the way, okay, what is the shortcut way? Now, for your clarity, if you want, what should be the conventional method? If you are curious to know, okay, these slides are here. Okay, these slides are here. For conventional method, first I need to find eigenvalues. How to quickly find this eigenvalue? You can refer to previous Tricopedia video. I have solved for the same matrix eigenvalue I have solved. Eigenvalues will come up to be minus 1, minus 1 and 2. But the method that I am going to tell you in this video will not even require the calculation of lambda. But conventional method, first you should know what is the lambda. Okay, then for every, every lambda you have to make the equations, you have to solve it up. This is only for your reference. If you want, not compulsory, read it up later. Okay, Ki lambda equal to minus 1 ke liye, what are the eigenvectors? Similarly, for lambda equal to 2 what are the eigenvectors it requires some equation solving and that is why it can be time consuming but my motive is not in the video but still for reference i'm giving you the slides now let us come to the question once again and show you the proper method as i told you it's a msq question what are the eigenvectors corresponding to this four options a b c d are given to you and i have clearly told you if x is eigenvector it should satisfy ax equal to lambda x i will start picking one by one option option number a one to five when i pick Okay, multiply by A. So see, first row, first column, this is 2 plus 5, 7. Then 1, 0, 5. This is 6. 1 plus 2 plus 0, that is 3. Is it equal to lambda x? No, it is not equal. Why? If this was equal, so this is lambda into 1, this should be 7. So lambda should be 7. But if lambda is 7, 2 lambda will become 14, not equal to 6. So there is no common lambda satisfying. So option number A doesn't satisfy AX equal to lambda X. Nullified, it cannot be the correct answer. Option number B vector is 1, 1, 1. Now let us multiply. 1 plus 1. Here first of 0, thato. 1 plus 1, 2. Then 1, 0, 1. Again 2. 1 plus 1 plus 0, again 2. What I can take? I can two, take 2 common. When I take 2 common from here, I get 1, 1, 1, which is the given vector x. That means multiplying ax, I get x again with some proportionality number 2. Whatever is that number, I don't want. But ax equal to lambda x, I na. What is this 2? This 2 is actually eigenvalue. But I don't want. I'm only asking tell the correct eigenvector. Okay. So yes, if it satisfies AX equal to lambda X for any vector X, for any value lambda, it should be eigenvector. Right. Similarly, if you try it out for C, right, quickly you take 1, 2 and minus 3, minus 1. Take 1 minus 3 is minus 2. 1 plus 2 plus 0 is 3. Now, out of this result obtained, take minus common. So, you get 1, 2 and minus 3, which is the given vector. So, once again, I have obtained back the given vector with a proportionality number. Right, that is minus 1. Ax equal to minus x. So, some lambda is there, which is minus 1. But ultimately, Ax equal to lambda x. So, this is also the correct answer. When you try it out for D, guys, have a look into this calculation. It will again not come up to be equal to lambda x. So, D will not be the correct option. And you will see that gate 2021, 22, 23, almost every year there has been a question you can solve on this principle. Whether the question is second order, third order or even fourth order. Right. Correct answer for this multiple select question, guys, is that you can mark is option number B and C, right? Can there be NAT? This was option based. Tha. But can I solve even an NAT question by this approach? Yes, sir. Why not? Let's have a quick look into one of the other questions. Find the value of P such that the given vector is an eigenvector. No problem, sir. Right. Again, I will start with A into X. So if I multiply, I get 4 plus 2 plus 6, that is 12. P plus 4 plus 3, that is P plus 7. 14 minus 8. 6 plus 30, 36. This should be, now this is eigenvector given. So this should be equal to lambda x, right? So lambda into the given vector x, multiply lambda inside to lambda 2, lambda 3, lambda. Now left hand side equal to right hand side means all corresponding elements are equal. So lambda should be 12. Okay, sir, I should get lambda 12. And that is why 3 lambda 36, everything is satisfied. So lambda was not given, that is also calculated now. But if lambda is known to you, okay, this p plus 7 should be 2 lambda. So 2 lambda will become 24 and p again 17. And it question 
also solved within seconds if you really believe and if you have understood this trick guys do not forget to solve one homework question in front of you and mention the answer in the comment box okay one small hint i will give for this given matrix eigenvalues are one and two because it is a upper triangular matrix and for upper triangular matrix eigenvalues are equal to diagonal numbers okay everybody please solve and mention in the comment box if you are able to solve the same question by the same technique ax equal to lambda x and able to find the correct answer and i'll reply you with the with whether you are correct or not i'll reply in the comment box thank you guys stay safe and uh, if you are enjoying this trickopedia do not forget to subscribe to the channel to get more such regular videos daily bye bye thank you stay safe and take care of yourself